Hi, I'm Katya Chavez and I work at the Natural and Social Science Lab at the Miami-Dade College Kendall Campus. Today we're going to uh, do a problem application about the concepts that we have already seen, Avogadro's number, mole and molar mass. So this is our problem. What is the weight in grams of 4.8 times 10 to the 24th atoms of carbon? Well, you might be thinking, I don't know how to resolve this, but that's not true. You already have the knowledge required to solve this problem. So let's start by writing down what we know. We know that one mole of carbon is equal as having 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms of carbon. You also know that one mole of carbon weighs, we go to the periodic table, we look at the mass here, which is 12.011. For practical purposes, we're just going to say 12, okay? So one mole of carbon weighs 12, and because it's mole, it's going to be grams. Now, some professors are going to do another method in which they use many conversions and multiplications. I'm just going to show you another method that is easier to do and will help you figure out the answer in two different steps, okay? So, the first step is going to be finding the number of moles that you already have in the problem. What do you need to do? Well, they are giving you 4.8 times 10 to the 24 atoms, right? That's why they give you the problem. But you also know that one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23. So if we divide this by that, we will get the number of moles of carbon that we have. So we are going to divide by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. Now for practical purposes when doing this in your calculator just write down 6, okay? When doing that in your calculator you will get 8. That means that the number of mole that they had already, already given you was actually 8. What else do we know? Second, we know that one mole of carbon weighs 12 grams. But we don't have one, we have eight right here. So eight mole of carbon, what would that weight be? Very easy, if one mole weighs 12 and I have eight, I have to multiply, right? I have to multiply this 12 by eight. And that's 96 grams. So, the weight of that number of atoms is going to be 96 grams. So, the answer is 4.8 times 10 to the 24 atoms of carbon, which is the same as saying 8 mole of carbon atoms weighs 96 grams. Now, if you take this as an example and you practice over and over again, 
you will be able to resolve any problem that involves Avogadro's number, mole, molar mass, and grams. Stay tuned.